One of the primary reasons for failed CRM implementations is low user adoption. Now, Microsoft has an out-of-the-box Outlook interface which, which helps users come up to speed with CRM functionality and fold that functionality into their daily tasks. The Outlook integration integrates at several points and we're going to take a look at it. Here's Outlook. Now the CRM integration adds two basic things on the primary interface. First of all, up at the top we have a new menu bar. On this menu bar I can access most of the functionality within CRM. You can see those functionalities here. I can also promote items from Outlook up to CRM. Additionally, they add a number of folders in the folder section down here. Here's a Microsoft Dynamic CRM folder. Microsoft CRM comes in with three basic modules, marketing, sales, and service. And you can see those modules here. I'll expand that and you can see that the folders expand for various parts of those modules. So those are just two items that are added to the Outlook interface. Now let's take a look at some of the specifics. In my inbox here, you can see I've got email coming in from various people. But you'll also notice that two of them have a special logo here. This icon indicates that this particular email has been promoted up to the CRM system, which means it exists not only in my Outlook system, but also in CRM. Now this can be done automatically by the system, or it can be done manually by the user. It's quite easy to do. Let me open up this email here. So this email has been set to track in CRM. And you can see it's already been assigned to an account, School of Fine Art. Now I can view that account in CRM just by clicking on this menu item in my message. It's going to bring up the account in CRM, have full access to all aspects of this particular account. So this shows how I can easily go from an Outlook item up to CRM. Now let's go back the other way. What I can also do is I can create appointments and tasks in CRM and they'll flow down into my Outlook interface. So let's try that. Let's add an activity here. and I'm going to add an appointment to this particular account. And we'll add it for today, a little in the future here. Set it for 10 o'clock this morning. So I'm just setting up this appointment in CRM. And when I save that, it's going to be saved in CRM, but it's also going to eventually link into Outlook. There's a synchronization product process that you can run on a regular basis to take your data from Outlook, put it up to CRM, and take your data from CRM, put it down to Outlook. You can get to select which data you want to go back and forth between the systems. Let's also add a task here as well. I'm going to add a task for this particular account. And I'm going to create a task to create a new contract here. So I've created these in CRM. You can see them listed here. And I'm going to save and close this now. Let's go back to Outlook. You can see at this point, there's no appointment scheduled here. There's no task here as well. But what I can do is I'm going to run the synchronization process manually. And we can see how that would show up then in Outlook. So I'm going to CRM up here. I'm going to synchronize with CRM. It's going to go through the process. And like I said earlier, normally you're going to do this on a regular automated basis. But you can see now that my appointment that I originally made in CRM is now in my Outlook client. I can open that up. I can go back to that account in CRM. Likewise with the task, I can go to the task, open that task up, I can go to the account if I wanted to. So that shows you a real integration between CRM and Outlook. One last thing I wanted to show you, say I was going to add a new email message. I can do that, click new here. I'm going to look up my CRM accounts. Here it is. And I can send an email message here. And I've already logged it to 
this account here. So when I send this, there's going to be a record in CRM that I sent this, and you can see that I'm sending it directly from Outlook. So I'm just going to send that now, and that's it. And that's really the integration between CRM and Outlook. My experience is that most people use Outlook. And if they're using Outlook, they can easily use the CRM functionality in the same interface, and they'll get a lot of use of, out of both products. So if you have CRM and Outlook, I suggest that you look at the integration between the two products because it's very useful, and you'll find that you really like it.